Flex 10 is proprietary software that turns your Hovercam into an intelligent USB camera. This software has many capabilities. When launching Flex 10, the first thing you'll notice is the bottom toolbar. This bottom toolbar and all other functions such as the annotation bar are touch friendly. To get to the annotation bar, go to the bottom of the screen on the toolbar and click on the pencil icon that says annotate. All annotation tools are noted on this right side toolbar. When clicking on an object on the annotation bar, you will know which tool is currently selected as it will be outlined in the light blue rectangle. Also, any item selected in the bottom toolbar will turn blue when it is the active tool selected. You are able to annotate freely on the screen when the annotation bar is open and a tool is selected. Our software even supports multi-touch annotation. At the top of the bar, you will see an arrow. This arrow allows you to select annotations on the screen in order to move them, manipulate them, or delete them. You can also clear all annotations by clicking the red X on the lower half of the bar. You can capture the annotations that are on the screen at any time with the snapshot tool, but more on that later. On the annotation bar, other tools include the sketch tool, allowing for free form drawing and annotation, the line tool, which creates direct lines between two points, the arrow tool that creates an arrow between two points, the polygon, ellipse, and shape tools allowing for shape creation, the paint bucket tool allowing for color fill, and the text tool to create overlaying text on top of an image. To change the active color for any of these tools, simply select the color wheel at the bottom of the annotation bar. To change font styles or line thickness, use the three bar line tool or the blue A font adjusting tool at the bottom of the annotation bar. To take a snapshot, select snapshot on the bottom left side of the toolbar. The software will capture whatever is below the camera. You will see a quick preview of the image in the thumbnail on the far left of the toolbar. You can also see a list of all your images, PDFs, and videos quickly by clicking on the tab on the left side of the screen. Organizing, sending, and comprising these files can easily be done in the archive manager. If you only want a partial image, you can use the crop button on the bottom right of the toolbar. Once the crop button is selected, you can highlight the area you would like to crop. You will see that your mouse has become a crosshair when hovering over this area. Simply click and drag over the area you would like to crop. You can adjust this area around the screen by clicking in the center of the box, and you can adjust the height and width of the box by clicking on the sides and corners and moving them around. All of these cropping capabilities are touch friendly as well. Once you have your cropped box in your desired location, hit the snapshot button on the toolbar and you will see the preview snapshot of only that cropped area. This annotation cropping mode can't work all at the same time since the mouse is needed to adjust cropping areas. To exit the cropping mode, simply select the cropping icon in the right of the toolbar. Tweezly compare the images taken from the live video feed whether or not they have been cropped or have annotations. Select the split screen icon under view on the right side of the bottom toolbar. This will bring the last image taken to the left side of the split screen and will allow you to see the entire video feed on the right side. In split screen, you are able to annotate, zoom, crop, and take snapshots of the live feed while in split screen viewing. Once again, by expanding the tab on the far left, you can see the images you have previously captured. By clicking on any of these images, it will replace the image on the left side of the split screen. However, this only works with images, not videos or PDFs. In the middle of your screen, you will see a tab that allows you to change the live feed versus picture ratio. The video on the right side of the screen is also zoom friendly. You can zoom by adjusting the zoom tab on the right of the bottom toolbar. Simply click on the split screen icon to exit the split screen mode. If you want to view all images, videos, and PDFs taken, you will want to use the Archive Manager. To access the Archive Manager, open the tab on the left side of the screen and select the arrow that says Go to Archive Manager. On the left side of the Archive Manager, you will see different types of files. The files listed in the middle of the screen are in chronological order in list view by default, but you can change how files appear by clicking on the Sort and View tab on the top middle of the page. You can select any file by clicking on it. When the file is selected, you can take different actions on the file or multiple files, all by using the tools on the top middle of the page in Archive Manager. Stacking will compress multiple files into one file, while unstacking will undo any compressed file. You are also able to delete any file or turn it into a PDF. You can also send any file to someone by clicking Export, Email, or to the printer. For more tips and tricks on how to use your document camera, visit www.thehovercam.com.